Hey guys, and welcome to this video. So today's not really a full tour of the car. I'm going to show you a quick walk around of it, show you it runs perfect. But it's more so the story and why not to let a car sit. Let's get it running just to show you that it runs perfect. Stone dead. So that's one issue when a car sits. Battery gets stone dead. But don't worry, we've got our trusty booster pack right here. I'm going to get the booster pack on, and I'll continue the video. Booster pack is on the battery. Let's try it, get started up now. Exhaust leak by the sound of it. Just a bit. But it runs sweet, as you can see. It has a 2 liter Z Tech VCT, so I believe that's variable cam timing. <laughs> but you won't believe this, guys. This car has 65,000 kilometers on it. It's barely been driven. It has aluminum wheels with really decent tires on it. But the headlights are hazed. And you know what guys? I'm going to shut it off because there's no exhaust pipe. But that's it's showing you. This thing runs perfect. The interior is mint. There's no damage, no wear, or anything on it. Steering wheel looks like new still. The door panels, they look brand new. I doubt the back seat's ever been sat in. It's even been oil coated. <clears throat> but, what happens when a vehicle sits? is the moisture gathers under it. So much so that this car that looks perfect from the outside and it runs absolutely mint. It drives perfect. It is in fact no good. I will show you guys why. This isn't why, but this kind of want to see if that this has anything. The gas shocks in the back, they're still like new. It has a compact disc changer. This, you guys, this is a ZX2 package. This is a higher end package. Your spare tire, out. I'm willing to bet the spare tire's never been used. Can't get it out, but I'm willing to bet that spare tire has never been used. Here's the thing with a car that sits for a long time of its life and never gets moved. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to have to lift the car up to show you this. You can see spots of it in a couple spots. You can see it peeking out there. But I'll show you from underneath. It's much worse than that. Okay, guys, so the car is up on the hoist now and lifted. You can kind of see a bit more of why it's bad for a car to sit, but let's get underneath, right underneath, and I'll show you. Move this out of the way. Okay, first, right there. Extreme rot right there. That's pretty much right through into the interior. The rocker is gone right there, all the way to the interior. All along here, it's gone. And where the rear suspension mounts, right in this area, it's just not there anymore. All the plugs and all the floors are going in it. The lines, they don't look too bad. There's a few little crusty spots, but they don't look too bad. 
the control arms and the subframe area and the frame, that looks so rotten. The exhaust looks good, but I believe that's a new exhaust system. All your lines up here, they're in rough shape. And once again, right over on this side, it's pretty crusty. And then, once again, your jack-up point, which is right here, it's rotted away. Now, this is the worst of it, back here. Okay, I guess that goes back, not forward. Yeah, there we go. So we're at the back of the car now. Your gas tank straps, they're going. Now here's the worst of it. Here's where your suspension mounts. Your rear end is mounted right there. There's nothing left. Your rockers are gone. See, they just crumble. Your frame is quite literally broken there pretty much. And your lines are extremely crusty there. Your fuel tank, same story. It's rusted out almost. Here's where your, and the same, it's the same thing with this side. Your suspension mount and all this frame area, it's gone. Now, it's the same thing here. Your whole rear axle is almost rusted out. Your filler tube is rusted. And your muffler's leaking. This car has 65,000 kilometers on it, and it's in this condition. Only thing you can see from the outside is this, and you can barely see that. Up here, it's starting to get bad, but it's not really that bad looking from the outside. But that just goes to show, a car that sits, it's not good for it. Now, part of the blame to this up here is this plastic piece. That just holds all the crap right up in behind it and holds the moisture too. See, it's a, the car is in nice shape. It looks perfect. I'm gonna lower the car down and show you how, just how good the interior is. Lowered back down now, and we can have a look at the interior. Looks. Like I said, it looks mint. Seats, no wear at all. Headliner, mint. The key fob is, okay, that's a little bit warm, but that's nothing. The interior has no scratches anywhere by the looks of it, and it looks like it's in perfect shape. Now, like I said, this car was undercoated. Yet it still got to this condition. Let's see what year this is. 1199. So this is a 2000 model. 2000 Ford Escort. The paint, it ain't doing so good either because the sides are perfect, but as soon as you get to the tops, it's all faded. And it's almost orange now. Guys, this just goes to show. Don't let a car sit. I'm going to call this the end of the video here, but uh, that just goes to show you. When a car sits in super low mileage, it might not necessarily be the best thing. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe favorite the video and share it. Have a great day everyone.